One sec, I'm gonna post my starting streaming link in the Discord real quick. Okay, there we go. <laughs> and I'm not sure how this capture is going to go because it's a little weird. It's like showing up in borderless window, but I can still see the rest of my desktop. And it's definitely early access. <laughs> Let's see. Turn my music off because I'm going to assume there is music in this game. All right, where? There we go. Okay. <laughs> hey, Soleil. Contract of the Grand Witch, Ivelis. Hello, spirit from another world. If you wish to enter the world created by Ivelis, you must accept the terms of this contract. Please mark each box on the left to indicate acceptance. Section one, form of the representatives. My representative in the world will be the following character. Cute little mushroom girl. Check. <laughs> I will also sometimes be represented by the following cursor. Okay. Optional. I wish to bind my soul to the character and become one with her. If the above box is not checked, the character will maintain a separate existence from you while acting on your behalf. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about being busy. Thanks for having me on in the background, if nothing else. I'll, I'll read text for you. For your benefit, <laughs> I'm probably not going to stream too long. I I assume I'm going to get busy with work too, but I figured I would try to stream in the morning and before they start piling on stuff I have to do. But I've got my coffee. I'm got my caffeine high. I'm in good spirits. That is <laughs> the power of coffee early in the morning. Uh. Yeah, let's find our soul to this character. See, see what that does. Section two, methods of control. By default, the following controls are set up for me. I can move with the arrow keys or WASD. I can jump or select using X or space, open and close my bag with C or control. I can pause, sure. The above controls can be modified in the options menu, accessible from the title screen or pausing the world. So there will be an option screen. See, I launched this and I was like, hmm, it's windowed strangely, but also I don't want to skip this interesting uh, start. And I was afraid that it would not launch this uh, options thing again if I if I skipped over it. Morning, Garlics. I've got, yes, I've got Quaffy. 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 I'm okay with the controls. The cursor can be controlled with either the move and select buttons or the mouse. Recommending the mouse. I've got a mouse. I would be worried if I didn't have a mouse. When using the move buttons to control the cursor, holding select buttons slows down the movement speed. Interesting. I'm going to use the mouse. Progress in the world. Progress in the world is auto-saved invisibly. Whenever I enter a door or exit to the title screen. All that four will quit instantly without saving. Beware. The world may become very difficult, though not impossible, to progress if I make poor decisions, such as leaving a key item in a hard-to-reach location. Uh-oh. <laughs> the world may become very tedious to progress if I forget what I have done and what is left to do. Taking notes of recording a video of my travels may remedy this. Okay, well, Twitch VODs save me. <laughs> Discovering everything of interest that exists in the world, also known as 100% completion, is a very time-consuming task. Ivelis does not expect this of anyone. Good, because I'm, I'm not a completionist. It's one of the, the, few, the few things I pride myself in is not having to finish games. <laughs> it's pride, right? Finale. 
please contact the game developers if the terms of the contract are breached. For example, if progress seems impossible or the controls are not working correctly, I'm going to at Sylvie on Twitter and complain to them if the game doesn't work. In exchange for her passage into her world, I offer my soul to the Grand Witch Ibilis. Click here to type your name. Sook. Kitty, kitty, kitty. Except. Clock. Let's see how that audio is. Seems a little high. I'm going to bring it down just a tad. And I think that'll be okay. It's a little high for me. So I'm going to turn mine down a little. What would you do if time stopped ticking? All right, interworld configure. Does anyone else like look at the options immediately when they launch a game? Uh oh, how do I select space? I've already forgotten my contractual agreement. Playful options. Listen to the world. Are you ready? Sil Sylvie City? See? Let's begin. Whoa. I like kind of bounce. Maybe I should use a gamepad. Let me plug in a gamepad. <laughs> I'm I'm loving this song. <laughs> oh, there's my. Sorry, I'm looking for my USB cord to plug in a controller. Oh my God! I didn't notice that kitty over there. Setting up device. Device is ready. Uh-oh. Do I have to relaunch to make the controller work? Let's check real quick. Gamepad enabled. Yes. Done. Let's continue the adventure. Yeah, there we- oh! That's my bag. B is jump. Okay. Now we're in business. I must acquire kitty. <laughs> you kind of like bounce off the stuff. Yeah. No, how do I? Uh. Talk. A beautiful rainbow shroom sleeps in the time frozen world. And when it wakes, a beautiful rainbow appears in the time frozen sky. That is what the prophecy says. But where is this rainbow shroom to be found? I love you. All right, what do you have? Always on the lookout for an amazing rainbow. That's my hand of dreams, one of the legendary 12 hands of the clock. It is so rainbow and cute, I love it. That's my surprise box. 25 small? A surprising box that contains so much value inside. I'll trade it for rainbow shroom three times. All right, so I think I need like items. Ah. 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 Okay. Ah. <laughs> there we go. Examine. This door leads into the tall and foreboding clock tower. Who knows what's inside? Spooky. Wee, wee, wee. So I can't really do a wall jump. Maybe if they're closer, I can do kind of a wall jump thing? Yeah. Rah! Read. The stone grave reads, Here lies the tears of Iphilus. Call for her bitter sadness. Call. 
You cry out for help, but your words disappear into the darkness. Hell! Hell is up. The stone grave reads, Here lies the sky of Ivalis, call forth her vast emptiness. You cry out for help, but your words disappear into the darkness. Spooky. Some trees. I think those are too far away from me. Oops. You feel a sharp black wind cut at your heart. Something or someone doesn't want you to use items in this place. Interesting. Have a good one, Gralix. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Ever since the clock tower stopped, it's ticking. The sun has hung still in the sky, and time itself has ceased to flow. I believe that the key to this oddity is the legendary 12 hands of the clock. You must collect them. Would you like some hints? Yes. If you explore the world, talk to people, and offer to trade with them, you'll find out about their problems. And as of you... Ex as, and as you explore enough, I can't read, <laughs> maybe you'll get an idea of how to solve some of these problems. Some people might even have the amazing hands of the clock you're looking for. Solve the problems, make them happy. When you've helped many people and built up a good collection of hands, you might want to explore the clock tower here. What will you find at the tower's peak? I have some more specific hints you can learn that you'll need... SM. Okay, so that's shroom money. To trade for them. Now, how do you get this shroom money? Explore the world and look for mushrooms in mushroom zones. These are vast, dangerous areas where many kinds of mushrooms grow. Basic and uncommon mushrooms can be used as shroom money. You can find out exchange rates at the bank in the city center. Rare mushrooms can sometimes be found, which can't be used as shroom money, but you might have other interesting uses. Special effect when you hold it in your bag, discover them all. That's the end of the tutorial. Go into the world. Whee! Huh. Ah. Can I bounce up? Not quite. Alright. Whee! Hello! The shopping district starts here and extends to the left. Why don't you enjoy it? I personally sell handmade dolls and plushies. They're guaranteed to cuddle you until the end of time. Well, time has ended. Is that a Clefairy? It's a Jiggler. <laughs> the original Symbolian character. Extreme popularity. I have no monies. No shroom monies. I cannot afford these. They are cute, though. Today's exchange rates are basic shroom. Uh, I'm not gonna read. All. Okay, so that's where I find out about the shroom monies. Oops. I should probably go check out one of these areas. I'm gonna assume that door is one, maybe? Whee. This door leads to a vast hill as the scent of cherry blossoms waft through the air. Whoa! Ah! Uh, bunnies good? Bunnies are always good, right? Hello. This is the lovely Cherry Blossom Hills. Let me give you some information. There are many cherry blossom trees in this area, including the legendary tree. And also, I am the bunny keeper, who takes care of all the bunnies. Do you want more information about bunnies? Yes. <laughs> I've said that bunnies should eat carrots. It's actually bad for their health to eat too much. It's better for them to eat swords. What? Which are long and pointy like carrots and have so many more vitamins and minerals. I'm looking for more swords to feed my bunnies. Do you have one? Let's go find a sword, maybe. Bunny! Wee! Wee! 
see that bunny of the walls? It is said this is a symbol of the magic of Evelis. It's pretty cute. Who's Evelis, you ask? Heh, <laughs> you don't want to know. All I can say is that I am not one of her followers. <gasps> you have cool stuff, though. Shard of Evelis. Symbol of Evelis's magic. Trades for some shrooms. I, I need to, like, obtain some items before. Labo. Ah! Okay. Ah, ah, no. <laughs> ah. Okay. It is Thursday. What? <laughs> okay. Welcome to my evil laboratory. This is where I create my inventions. My evil plan is to freeze the flow of time and currently on hold because someone else did it. <laughs> now I simply have various inventions to create. Can you help me? I'm a researcher. I invented many things, like a car that's also a fish. Recently, I can't seem to keep my important research papers together. I wish I had something like a clip for papers. I still don't have anything to give these people. Is that chicken? Hey, chicken. You could call me one of the animals of the hills. I'm a chicken with lovely wings. They let me soar through the sunny sky. If you have a paperclip, I'll grant you this power of flight yourself. But only if it's not a red paperclip. It has to be a different one. Hmm. My friend sent a letter to say she wants me to meet under the legendary tree, but when I came, she was nowhere to be found. What is this mystery? It is said something will happen if you come to the legendary tree with the golden sparkle shroom. I do not have the golden sparkle shroom. Whee! Anything over here? Hello. In a world where time has stopped, a character with hints appears. Would you like to learn some hints? Welcome to the Cherry Blossom Hills. It's a lovely place to start your adventure. Down in the cave below, you'll find a mushroom zone. It's a dangerous place. You can find tall shrooms in there. You'll meet lots of interesting characters, and you might see a few places you can't seem to reach. Say, the ledge on the left. Often, you can reach these areas by throwing items from your bag. You can ride on top of thrown items to reach new places. It's usually a more convenient way than riding, but it might be obscure. Thanks. Oh, no, that's all for now. Uh, I have some more specific hints, but they'll cost some monies. Alright. Incorrect password. Please enter the correct password. Okay. Cherry Blossom Hills, a famous place home to things like animals and the laboratory. <laughs> Once time is flowing again, I was thinking of doing some developments here. Maybe building a suburb. But nobody I talk to seems to know what a house is. This person has a sword and a shield. I'm the guardian of this door, but I've never been in the door. Don't ask me about it. It's tough guarding all the time. I want to go to the city and buy popular items. But I have to stand here. Ah. Alright. This door leads somewhere unusual. Oh, there's an air system. Here. Uh, am I gonna die when I run out of air? Put it in the back. Creative laughter mushroom zone. Um, do I have to escape? Ah. Or do I just die and that's it? Do I keep my items? Okay, so you do keep your items when you run out of air. <laughs> the music is amazing. <laughs> Okay, I 
don't know that I can get back up there. Unless there's some kind of control thing I'm missing. Womp. Hey. Alright, so what did I get? Okay, maybe I should use the mouse. Is there... Oh yeah, that's right, because I can just kind of like drop stuff, I think. <gasps> well, come back. So what are you? Basic shroom. It's a lovely color. And the other one. With Completely worthless shroom. Garbage. Thank you. Thank you for the garbage. Who are you? So I guess you're constantly wondering about me and my small business. I run a store called the Kittenarium. It's the only place in the world to get kittens. <gasps> and I am a big fan of wizards. If you had a wizard-like item, maybe I would trade my vehicle for it. Oh my god, they're adorable. Give. <laughs> this is a snowmobile of a kitten. <laughs> Scottish full, known for their unique folded ears. Russian blue, Persian, Sphinx, Savannah. If I go back in, I guess the items stay where they are. Ah, dang it. Is there any way to like go down? Hmm. Maybe not. See if I can figure out. That one character said something about throwing. Ah. Movement's definitely taking some getting used to. It's a little odd. Whee! Alright, uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Alright, what did you say? In a world where time is stop. Yeah. Tall shrooms. If you explore some more, you'll meet lots of interesting characters. Often, you can reach these areas by throwing items from your bag. You can ride on top of thrown items to reach new places. Bouncy shroom. I don't know, I seem to just be going through it. Hmm. Well, ah! <laughs> oh, now I'm down here. It's probably going to be, like, locked when I get over there, too. <laughs> um, let's see if I can exchange for money. Though, I think that was only worth, like, one, one monies. That's dollars. 
Okay. Okay. So I guess you trade the actual oh, items. So there's somewhere else I can go. Let's place up there. Cool purple cat girl. I'm simply known as a backsmith. Large bags. So that requires wide things, tall things. There's that tall shroom that's supposed to be hidden in cherry blossom fields. Story leads to dank ancient caverns. The cavern of ancients. Some say it is a shrine to the villainous Grand Witch. Others simply say that it is a ruins. Who is right? Will you solve the mystery? This is an interesting area. There are some fun and silly things to be found even though it's a historical site. I recommend checking out the mushroom zone to your left. You can find wide shrooms there. So I'm guessing wide shrooms are what I need to uh, widen my bag. So visit the laboratory in the Cherry Blossom Hills. They have inventions to help with exploring. Okay, so maybe I need to go back there and explore. Hey. Here's some shrooms. Basic shroom. Basic shroom. I'm getting a lot of there's a lot of shrooms in here. Let's throw out this worthless one. Eh. This one. Let's see if maybe I can buy something exploration based. Alright, let's head back to the cherry blossom fields and see if we can buy anything. Yeah, you know, Chica, you gotta do your mushrooms in the morning to get the maximum amount out of your day, you know? Because if you do mushrooms at night, then you just fall asleep. That's no fun. Wait, the cherry blossoms are down here, right? Where was that? Yeah, they were down here. Give me cool stuff. Floppy disk? It's my memory disk. Please read the manual to learn about it. it needs junk parts. Spring shroom, junk parts, the jetpack, junk parts, or flat shroom. Hmm. Where do I get junk parts? 
That costs two, so I'm just gonna explain. I can, I could do two. Do I drag them over? How do I trade? I want give, give. <laughs> you give. Maybe you use the mouse. It might make it easier. I want it. give it to you. Do I have to exchange them somewhere? Wanted. Takes two shrew monies. These should be worth one each. Did that. Okay. Now, how do I use this? Do I just put it out? Oh. Ah. Come back! Come back! <laughs> okay. Let's put this. Can I just set it set it down? Can I be like be right there? Ah. Okay. Standing on stuff kind of makes them stop bouncing. I think. Memory disks. A memory disk is an incredible new data storage format that can hold up to 1.44 megabyte of binary information. It was invented at the Cherry Blossom Hills Laboratory. Purpose of memory disk. In the mushroom zone, you might encounter memories. A memory disk can record a location of a memory. You will appear at this location when you re-enter the mushroom zone. Huh. With animals play. Place the memory disk in your bag. When you examine a memory, you will be asked if you want to record its location. Note that, as explained in the next section of this manual, only one location per mushroom zone could be recorded. Right only memory. Each sector is calibrated for a different mushroom zone, therefore only one location per mushroom zone will be recorded. The information in the memory disk cannot be reset or overwritten by another one. <laughs> has the technology to produce up to 10 memory disks. We have two memory disks. This zero is stolen! Okay. So, now that we have that, let's see if maybe we can get to a, a location. Anything down here? Just the happy person. Whee! Oh, oh. Every time. <laughs> I mean, those are just one. So maybe I need to uh, put a mushroom out here. And then. Huh. I need like a second one. Can I put one on top of it? Hmm. I'm trying to figure out the mechanics around taking the mushrooms out of the bag. Like if I put it center, does it not throw? It throws up. 
Oh, okay. So it's like relative to the bag. Okay. I think I'm getting it. Ah. So if I throw it up, and then I try to get on top of it, and then, ha! Ah. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna run out of air. That's one way to get around. Ah. Whoa, no! <laughs> Collect. Let's get both of these. What if I throw it down? Will it automatically pick me up? Mushroom. Oh, no. There's definitely something important up there. <laughs> I got this purple one. I have to get it over there. I kind of want to check out up here too, so let's do that first, because this is actually like easier. Oh, there's a bunch of them up there. Oh no! Weird that it like saves their momentum between screens. Interesting. <sighs> I'm gonna run out of air again. All right. just use the mouse. It's the only thing is I keep switching between the mouse and my controller. Wish I could like kind of force it to be centered. Maybe if I launch off of that center pillar. I need you to go the other way. Um, yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> Slightly that way. No, ah, oh, dang it. Oh. Nope. Uh, I keep hitting the wrong button sometimes. All right. It worked last time. Quite enough. Oh, 
exist. This is very finicky. I don't... It's a little frustrating. I'm hoping that, like, you get some traversal stuff, because, like, the one person had, like, a jetpack. So I'm hoping you kind of get past this mushroom throwing stuff. But if that's the central mechanic, it's, like, just, just a little too finicky for me. I'm loving everything else about what this game has going on, though. <laughs> no. Why did that work the first time? Ah. <sighs> I should go see what that person wanted for the jetpack. I think it was like a special shroom of some kind. No. Nope. All right, let's try the other way. <sighs> and like the bouncing off of stuff, like when there's tiny ledges like that, is a little frustrating. Also try to find someone else playing it and see if I'm just like missing something in terms of how the game works. Oh no, no, God. <laughs> Try going back up here. Although I need more shrooms. Left them all down here. Now I'm down here, so I might as well try. See, I, I want to do it like that. How did I? It's like determining where the center of the screen is. <laughs> Need like a sticky note or something. Ah! Alright, let's take these up top and try to go up to that top area that had a bunch of shrimps. Let's see what that boy smell was. Oh. 
Okay, well, we made it over here with all these guys. Are these all just regular shrooms? I think so. Anything cool over here? I'm about to die. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I feel a little iffy on this game. Where, like, I'm just not getting how to do this correctly. I wonder if, when I go through the screen, if I can throw one down. Let me try that. guess not, because hmm. once I'm on them, they don't bounce off the room borders. Well. <sighs> Let's go back up to the main area and see if there's anything I can buy. Person has a house. Extremely valuable. Backup shield. These were like expensive, right? Yeah. Back up this way. Just hints. Maybe I need those. What did you have? Bunny ears. Need a tall thing. Premium bunny food. Carrot. Slippers. The jetpack person was up, up top. Symbol up on some magic, float shroom, float shroom. Hey. Surprising blocks. So, how much for wings? They're known as a legendary item. Will you give them to me for one shroom? Oh yeah, the paperclip is not red. That's right. Surprise boxes. It's 
the love letter my best friend Sunny sent me. Meet under the legendary tree. Hmm. Oh yeah, you got the plushies. You have monies. Oh, keys. That's ketchup key. Low quality key. Particularly horrid key. <laughs> These keys have different feelings. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well. Give me that key. Now I've got a bad key. Not sure what I'm gonna do with the bad key. Oh, what are these? Oh, I can trade for the better shrimps. <laughs> Alright, so I need five of the small shrooms. So let's I'm gonna leave the rest of my stuff here, and then we'll go fill up a bag with like five shrooms. Um there were a bunch in that area. over here. <laughs> Funny shirt. The classic I'm stupid shirt. Great way to trick your friends. So we can get plenty of shrooms here. So we got five. Let's see if we can get any more. Oh. At least give us a wider bag, I think. Some Resident Evil style, shifting things to fit them. Got a bag full of shrimps. That's probably, unless I like throw some shrooms to get up there, but we're about out of time. Let's do that. Now, if I go back, I should be able to get a wide shroom that then I think I can trade that. I'll take your stuff. 
<sighs> Alright, I think I need to stop. Let's buy the bag real quick. I think that was down here. I don't know about this game. I'm interested, but I'll be curious to see how it changes because I know it's still in early access. But all right, thanks for uh, hanging out. Hope everybody has a good day. I'm gonna try to stream some more next week. I'm gonna be on vacation this weekend though, so I'm gonna be, but maybe later next week. All right, take it easy. Bye.